Okay, we're going. All right, as I alluded to in the last video, I do have another uh, MPC Air Lionel uh, Primo Steam set. This is the NYC Empire State Express. Uh, oh, it is a number 6-1665. Could not remember that to look. Um, this set came out in 1976. So another thing with these two is uh, you can tell by the set numbers um, when these sets came out. Um, the, the, part, the part number gives it away on these. Um, now, this set um, was cataloged, like I said, in 76. Now, I don't have a 76 uh, catalog, unfortunately. It's one of the weird ones I'm missing, and I haven't been able to track one down. I can't show it to you, but when this was initially cataloged, it was supposed to come with track and a transformer. As you can see, though, not included. Uh, another big deal that occurred with this set, Magnet Traction was back. Big deal there. Um, now, this set is actually one of my favorites for a lot of reasons, and it was kind of the one I was hunting but I wasn't really getting too crazy about catching because the value of this set is pretty high very popular it's a little hard to find uh, I think it was also kind of an expensive set at the time which is probably why uh, they never uh, released uh, another set kind of like this at the time but it's one of my favorites and I just love the box art on this guy and interestingly enough um, yeah, the way so you get a little more light on that uh, every car and this locomotive are 100% exclusive to this set um, if you flip through 76 catalog though, you'll go, hey, wait a minute, I've seen, because a couple of sets showed that one, and I think that Sunoco might have been initially offered separate sale or something goofy like that. But uh, by the time all the 76 items had gotten released, uh, everything that was shown in this set wound up being exclusively for this set and released nowhere else. So, it's just the way it is. Uh, Interestingly enough, it's still got the original price tag. I think that one six, I don't think that one sixty five is what they originally uh, were pricing it out as, but uh, it does have the original price tag on it, which is kind of cool. And as I alluded to in the last video, this set is still one hundred percent sealed. Get the lid off of here. I love that design they did with the lid. Bit. So as you can see, still all cellophane up. Got a couple of tears in there. I'll put her up where you can kind of see her a little bit. That is a gorgeous set, all cellophane up. Um, so if you are uh, one of those folks that uh, doesn't like seeing somebody open something still sealed from 1976 anymore uh, this is probably the time <laughs> you might want to skip this video watch something else or come back a little bit later after the the uh, deed is done but uh, let me get this camera out of the way a little bit and we'll uh, uh, do the, do do the deed so this guy is already torn right there I gotta say I'm uh, kind of uh, nervous about this myself. I had a blade. There we go. Not to make too big of a mess here. I'm going to go ahead and just continue this little guy here so I can sleep at night and pretend it uh, did it itself. Slicey dicey here. You know, uh, like I always say though, trains are meant to be run, they're toys, they're meant to be fun. Uh, and this little guy deserves its time to shine. Um, it is amazing though that it has somehow survived all this time without ever being opened. I will 100% say that is very cool. And I think it's neat that I get to be the guy to uh, unfortunately 
crack the seal on this, but I won't lie when I say I got a really good deal on this and I didn't know it was still sealed. So I thought I was getting a good deal on an open uh, set. So the fact that it's uh, sealed was incredible. I was not expecting that whatsoever. So now that we've got that out of the way, put the blade up. Okay. So let's see what would be the best guy to get out of here first. Let's go with uh, the caboose here. Oh my gosh, those boxes are so fresh. It's so cool. Oh wow, there's all the paperwork. Let's see here. Let's put him out of the way. Let's take a look at that paperwork. Let's see here. Let me see what this guy is. Craftmaster MPC Lionel. Oh. Oh, this is so you can order stuff. Okay, okay. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Billboard reefers. There's a uh, locomotives. Huh. Huh. That's for ordering direct. There's the Sino Hudson. Um, that was the third um, MPC era big steam steamer put out. Uh, it was released the same time as this one. It was never put in a set though. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. 76. And I got the prices on there. That was a 138.15. Uh, got cool stuff on there. I wonder. Does this have the train sets on here? Because then we can find out HO engines. Interesting. And I guess if this don't have the, uh, here's some layout ideas. Huh. Let's see. I was kind of curious what the original retail price of this set is. But this doesn't have sets on it. Okay. Well, I thought that would be kind of interesting if they had a little flyer and said, hey, by the way. So, okay, I won't kill too much more time with that. Let's see what else we got in here. Try to slide that out without getting it damaged. How to build a railroad uh, empire. Let's see what we got here. Ah, just a little flyer. Let's see, we got uh, accessories. There's the uh, CNO right there. There's the uh, Baby Madisons, as they were to become known as. There's the Sandy Andy. There's the pickle car. Oh, man, all kinds of good stuff. As a matter of fact, there's that set, because this is the 76 catalog uh, front cover. There's that set right there. Interestingly enough, it's got a, it looks like a Coors car uh, stashed in there for reasons I don't know. Hmm, okay. Let's get this paperwork out of the way. Alright, man, that's cool. I didn't even know that was down there. Okay, so here's the uh, the P and E. Uh, let's see, Peoria and Eastern, I believe, because uh, a lot of people always remember the P and L E, which was the uh, Pittsburgh and Lake Erie, I believe. This is the P and E, um, kind of an obscure little railroad that um, the New York Central owned. Let's see here. Got the uh, New York Central uh, double door stock car. Get him out of the way. Let's see here. Let go with this guy next. There's an always popular car from back in the day. The Great Northern box car. Oh, that's, there we go. A little bit of that. Uh, Try to slide you out without tearing anything up. Come on, there we go. There's the uh, Southern Big John uh, Hopper car. Let's see here. Gosh, these are so clean. That's incredible. There's the end. I won't focus on it, but yeah. Absolutely cool. Put you there. Let's see, I guess. I'll just gonna flip. What would be the best course of action here? Let's see, let me slide the locomotive out. Without uh, damaging anything here. Oh, goodness gracious.
gracious. Ah, I'll leave you in the middle. Get the tender out here. There's the uh, Mighty Sound of Steam tender. These do not have the whistle. This was uh, after they gave up on the initial uh, original whistle they were using on these guys. Interesting. Yeah, no markings. Uh, the whistle would be back. Oh, uh, what was that? I think 80 is when they brought the whistle back. Okay. And here. Let's see. We're going to balance that Sunoco card. Not that heavy. Okay. There she is. The mighty Hudson. Another interesting factoid about this Hudson um, is in the 76 catalog. Um. The Hudson they used for the pictures uh, was a uh, post-war uh, Hudson still and was actually still marked with a uh, post-war stock number and so on and so forth. And how do I want to sneak this guy out of there? This box has got a little damage to it so I don't want to it too much. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> There's actually fingerprints on it, I guess, from when they packaged that up. And there's the uh, Sunoco uh, Chrome tank car. The box is a little worse for wear there. Okay. So. Get that back on there. Okay. So there we go. And I am going to do a jump cut because I am going to uh, get those guys out of the boxes and set up. Put you over there. Yeah. These boxes sometimes are kind of tricky to get open. I don't want you to have to uh, sit through that monotony. So we will be right back. Okay. It is done. It has been unboxed. That took a long time. Um, those boxes were nice and fresh and crisp and would not open easy. I don't want to tear anything. But while I was uh, getting the locomotive out, came across the uh, instructions. A uh, warranty card. And, so I'm always kind of fun, uh, service stations that you can take your uh, product to to get fixed. Um, that's kind of neat. So I will uh, have to uh, get a uh, safe place to keep those items. And we'll put the lid back on. And we are done with that. And we'll swing on around. And there it is. Got that lock on. So there she is. All our glory. Number 8600. Um, there was a little tube of uh, smoke fluid in the uh, box too, but yeah, uh, this guy does have magnet traction. Uh, it's kind of weak, um, doesn't really hook the track too good, but still a little oily. I uh, just literally got that out of the bag right before he started filming again. Um, yeah, this uses the uh, the bigger, chunkier uh, baby Hudson. Uh, casting. They uh, put a silver front end on it. Uh, got a bell. Uh, no whistle, interestingly enough. Uh, and of course, there's your E unit. Uh, the only thing that was interesting is this thing has absolutely no grease or oil or anything on the motor, so I am not going to be uh, doing anything with that until I service that. I just thought that was kind of interesting as I was pulling out of the, out of the package. I was, uh, no oil or grease on anything. Other than that, pretty standard affair. Uh, the typical uh, New York Central uh, tender that uh, they like to use at the time. Um, it of course, has the mighty sound of steam. Uh, it's got one little connector over here. Uh, foam was going anywhere and everywhere, as is expected. So, I have to put new foam in that. There's a gorgeous great northern box car. That thing is beautiful. See America first, Glacier National Park. Move on down. There's our exquisite New York Central double door stock car. 
Very nice. It was, before I move on, this one also was covered in uh, fingerprints for some weird reason. I didn't really realize what I was doing as I was brushing them off of there, but there was some kind of uh, orange dust all over this uh, that was fingerprints. Obviously nobody's been in the in there since, so whoever put that in the box uh, had some kind of orange powder all over. Uh, it wasn't Cheetos though, but uh, hard to say what that might have been at the time. There's a lot of fingerprints on everything with this set. Uh, here's the uh, hopper, very nice. And then this guy is probably eh, showing up okay. This one I'm, is just absolutely coated in fingerprints from probably being assembled and uh, put in a box. It's a cool car, but uh, definitely one that is going to be hard to keep clean. And then our last, uh oh, where'd that go? Oh, here it is. It has no couplers. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I was trying to get this guy out of the box, and something was rattling, which I assumed was the chimney, because the chimneys were packaged separately, which uh, initially those are usually taped to the bottom. You can kind of see where the uh, tape is, and I could see it rattling around in there. I got the tape off to the side somewhere. It is quite disgusting. The uh, tape, tape, very old tape gets weird, we'll just put it that way. But, um, yeah, as I was pulling out of there, I realized what was actually rattling in the box. Is it, that was loose, but that obviously wasn't the noise. The, uh, I don't know if we can get you to focus off of that shell car. Thank you. Uh, you can kind of see the little boss right there. And, oh, come on, get off the background. Try to zoom on in. No, it does not want to do it. So, anyways, you just have to take my word for it. There's one on the other side. Um, the uh, couplers are completely busted off of that, so I guess I'll need to uh, fill out that warranty card and send that in and see if the fine folks in uh, Lionel can fix that up for me. That's a joke, by the way. Anyways, there are the... Uh, try to focus on... Come on, pick up my hand. Thank you. There are the uh, aforementioned couplers there. One of them... The uh, screw and the boss fell out. This one, it's uh, still in there. You can see the uh, screw right there. Um, so, that was a little bit of a bummer. Um, but nothing nothing that can't be fixed. Um, I was thinking, oh, well, I'll just uh, pick up uh, some new trucks and put them under there. And then I got to thinking, well, it'd probably be easier. I could probably just buy a uh, junk... Um, um, there's a word, bay window caboose. Good grief! I'll probably just buy a. Uh, no, I'll just probably buy a, a junk bay window caboose or a real common one that I can get real cheap, and I'll just uh, steal the base off of it, and I'll just put a new base under it. Um, but yeah, that, uh, a little bit of a bummer there, uh, considering how nice this guy is. But uh, not the, not the absolute end of the world, but. Um, that probably would be the simplest solution to the problem. So, let me get these guys back set up. Let's let you guys kind of take it in as a comparison between these two sets. The, uh, the big sets of the MPC era with steam locomotives. Um... These, as far as I can think of, were the only two that were put out like this. Um, everything else that had a steam locomotive was typically a, uh, a starter, more of a starter uh, set style with, uh, like I said, the smaller locomotives. So these two are definitely in a class of their own as far as the uh, MPC era goes. Very colorful very nice um, definitely on the harder side to find um, so glad you followed along and uh, hopefully you enjoy getting to see this guy get cracked open and then uh, hopefully um, when I get the layout put back together uh, we'll get to run these two uh, hopefully by then I'll have had some time to uh, oil lube uh, fix that caboose way down there 
and uh, maybe hopefully track down a uh, 76 uh, catalog so we can uh, go over uh, that guy when we do a little bit of running. So at any rate, uh, thanks for joining along and uh, we'll see you next time.